We can't dwell on that too long because we move straight on to our third quarterfinal and we will see Kim Jong-ho of Korea going up against Pierre-Julien Deloche. We see how we've uh, got through the bottom half of the draw. Two more matches in the quarterfinals to come, but it will be Turkey's Demir Alma Ashley up against India's Abhishek Verma at the bottom of the draw in the semi-finals. It won't be long now. There they are, waiting to come out. It's time for the third quarterfinal in the compound men's event. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the outlets to the field for the compound men's quarter-final match, number three. Bayanlar, baylar, Makarova'ya erkekler çeyrek finalinin üçüncü maçında yarışacak sporcuları sahaya davet ediyoruz. On target number one, representing the Republic of Korea. Bir numaralı hedef, Kore'den Kim Jong-ho. And his competitor on target two, representing France. Rakibi, iki numaralı hedef, Fransa'dan Pierre-Julien Deloche. <gülüyor> the line judge for this match is Maçın çizgi hakemi Alexandre Vecchio Passerini. Deloche. You're shooting first, Kim. You're shooting second. Shooting first is target number two. Target two, shooting first. Range is clear. Archers can shoot. Well, here we go, the third quarter final. French archer Pierre Julien Deloche, known as PJ, on target two will shoot first, and he goes up against Kim Jong Ho of Korea. PJ being a, a veteran on the field and uh, Kim Jong-ho, I think, uh, pretty new to the compound scene, uh, especially compared to PJ, but already has a lot of uh, good results. turn to hold on to that one he came through qualification as a ranked athlete this man here one in Shanghai booking his place in Samson it's a uh, it's a bit odd that he moves his fingers on his left hand in the middle of his of his shot in his, his, his aiming routine uh, you won't see that with PJ he, uh, he just relaxes his hand around his grip and Well, marked as a 10, it's on the 9-10 ring, so he gets the higher score. You can see his, his ring and, and pink finger moving, it's, it's like a twitching. Well, that doesn't seem to have put him off, they both just dropped that single point in the first end. Solid performances from uh, both the athletes, and as you say, there's a, a difference in age between these two. PJ Deloche, 36 years old, uh, from Valence in France, up against uh, Kim Jong-ho, who's just 24, from Seoul in Korea. Well, we see the uh, Korean contingent in the uh, in the crowd, looking on and trying to provide as much support to their teammate. That uh, they've been around all day. The Korean contingent. Target two shooting first. Range is clear. Archers can shoot. So all square after the first end. We move into the second and uh, Deloche will remain as the first archer to shoot. I don't think I remember these archers ever shooting against each other, so this might be a, a, a first-time thing. They certainly haven't met this season. 
Um, five seconds to go. It was an extremely long hold, that one. Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. He's normally not the quickest archer, but this was a bit, uh, a bit too long, I think, also for his taste. Deloche won the uh, silver medal at this event in Lausanne in 2014. Another long hold. Yeah, and a bit of a torque in his bow. He, uh, you could see that his cables were, uh, were moving a bit from side to side, but his hand was staying in the same place, so the bow itself was torquing. That might have been because of wind on the stabilizer or just uh, a bit of pressure in his hand. That was an interestingly uh, recurve-like uh, response to the shot. Oh, long hold again, under five, just ticking under five seconds, but he gets a ten. So typically with a compound bow, if the arrow, like if the release goes off, it's, uh, yeah, the arrow is gone. You cannot change it anymore, but he certainly tries to uh, to get them in the middle, even though they don't go off in the middle. You can see in the, in the previous shot that he threw his bow uh, from side, like left to right, uh, and that's probably because uh, his, his scope wasn't... Like his aiming wasn't exactly in the middle when the release went off, and then he tried to correct it and see if he could uh, have some influence on the arrows. So. Well, every little counts as we watch it here. Just pulling it away at the yeah. end as uh, Question Chef is spotted early. And look at uh, look at those <laughs> eyes. They tell a story or two. Phew. <laughs> That's a, a big sigh of relief. <laughs> Uh, the coach there giving him some motivation. Target two is shooting first. Range is clear. Archers can shoot. Well, Delosh giving away one point to Kim, but this is awfully tight, uh, as we've come to expect in the latter stages of the competitions in this series. The quality is so high. He seems to go a little low. Every time he makes a mistake, they end up low, which would mean he takes energy out of the arrow rather than putting a different sort of energy into the arrow. And so does Kim. His, uh, his arrows, if he, if he doesn't hit the middle, they tend to go low. Yeah, Kim's not letting him off, though, at all, is he? Look, is there anything that uh, Delosh can do, though, if, they, if the arrows aren't going well, apart from uh, shoot a 10? I mean, is there anything you can do to correct it? Uh, I suppose if I... Well, I'm not, a, I'm not a compound expert, but if I would be in his shoes at this moment, I would try to just keep the pressure uh, from front to back. I would keep it level and see if I could uh, oh. at least keep... Uh, yeah, keep shooting towards the middle, so don't, uh, don't try to pull or pu push too much, but try to keep it even. Well, he's corrected it enough uh, to get a 29 out of a maximum 30, but Kim is on for a maximum here. There's a bit of a wobble in this boat. Again, pulling away, but it is a nine in the end. They match each other in the third end, so Kim still leading by a single point. Uh, it looks like, uh, in fact, that uh, third arrow from Kim is going to go to a measure. Well, it looks like they've confirmed it very quickly. Uh, it is a nine so you're shooting for four, Kim. Him, you're shooting second. So he just keeps that one point lead. And Pierre Julian Deloche will shoot full first in the fourth. Target end. two. Uh, shooting first. Uh, chef that, uh, Range Deloche is clear. 
a sort of blue tint Archers on the sunglasses. Are they sort of different colours, or would he wear those all the time? Yeah, there's different colours in, uh, in in tints. I'm not sure if he uses different colours as well, but uh, I think the blue tint has something to do. Um, I'm not an optometrist, but uh, I think it has something to do with the contrast with uh, certain colours, so that the yellow pops out more, and you can easily aim in the yellow. Yeah. Yeah. That was a much calmer shot than the ones I've seen before. He, uh, he has some twitchy shots uh, every once in a while where you can see his bow canting and, and you can see his, his hand twitching and this was uh, more calm and more relaxed. Well, Deloche there looked on by uh, Sophie Dodemont, who uh, has been competing here as well in Samson, his teammate. Uh, just when uh, Deloche is uh, coming into his own form, it looks like uh, Kim Jong Ho is getting even better than he was at the beginning, and he was pretty good then. Yep. Well, the perfect oh, score at the perfect time for Deloche. Yeah. Pressure now on Kim Jong Ho. The wind picks up a little bit. Yeah. But another 10 and another perfect score for Kim Jong Ho. So just when Deloche gets better, <laughs> gets the maximum score, uh, Jong Kim Jong Ho comes back at him with uh, a perfect score of his own. Yeah. Yeah. And then we get a look uh, at uh, the shots there in that fourth end. And uh, well, there's not much to say about that other than they're all very good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Even these are very similar. Yeah, very close to the centre there. And uh, when they're shooting that good, a one-point lead is very important because there's only three arrows each left in this. And, uh, well, basically, Deloche has got to Target outscore two. He's shooting first. Uh, Kim Range by is one clear. point in this final end. Archers can shoot. Just to stay in the match. I'm sure he's just going to try to do the same as last time because he, he was really uh, firing good shots. And uh, if he could just keep doing that, um, yeah, it's all depending on Kim. If he gets a 30, uh, it's out of his hands. That's not the arrow you want at the moment like this, but I suppose you didn't do it on purpose. Well, nine, uh, from Kim as well. So pressure now moves over to the Korean. He does have the notional lead here, but he needs to score a 10 to keep it. Under pressure. Puts it in the X. One arrow left for both of the archers here. We fancy Deloche needs a 10. Right. He gets That's a 10. All he could do. So a 10 to win for Kim Jong Ho. A 9 will mean a tiebreaker. Ooh. Oh, it is a 9. He's just crept in. To the nine, he wasn't happy with himself at all with that. He had one hand on a place in the semi final, but he gives away two points for the first time in the match in the fifth end and lets PJ Deloche back in. I think they know that we want to see shoot us. <laughs> well, it's perfect for the neutral, isn't it? Well, we're going to see the last two shots right now. Under pressure himself confirmed. there, PJ Deloche shoots shoot first, off. puts it in the so middle. 
The last oh, just a, a bit of reaction. Oh, yeah. You've got to say he was perhaps un felt the pressure, under pressure with the final arrow. So we will have this uh, one arrow shoot off to decide who progresses to the semi final here. Well, they're changing the targets at the moment, so uh, there is a little break as uh, we look down at our hard-working official. He's got to make sure that the targets are in place and the range is clear to shoot. And there is the technical official. He's going to calibrate the uh, scoring system. We're nearly there. One arrow each for PJ Deloche of France and Kim Jong Un Ready? of Korea to see who Ready? is going to go through to the semi finals. Well, Target two is shooting In for shoot off first. Range is clear. I think he's getting ready to watch Start his, the shoot off. Uh, fellow countrymen shoot up against uh, Mike Slusser. Yeah, well, he's done here so. Uh, these two now under real pressure, one arrow to make it through. <laughs> Folding on there a nine. Oh, Kim needs the 10 here, but he was under pressure at the end of the last end. Can he do it? Two arrows, one each for the athletes, and Kim Jong Ho, when the pressure was on, pulled it off, and he'll go through to the semi finals. Pierre Julien de Lost. Well, to be fair, both of them uh, had, had showed a little bit of tension, didn't they, yeah. Chef? But yeah, they it did. was a bit more uh, visible on De Lost's face early doors, and he pulled it all back together, yeah. uh, but just got pimped at the post. It seemed like it was more visible on uh, the face of PJ, but it was more visible on the hands of Kim Jong Ho. You could see uh, his bow trembling every time he had a, a difficult moment. and. Uh, yeah, he managed to uh, stick the arrow right in the X-ring with uh, trip or the uh, shoot off. Uh, he did that, and uh, while well, the quality has been high, and the entertainment has been equally good here in Samson.